Hello, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This news is coming from Victory Voice TV and is actually from Enugu. Oluwole Mba has messed up seriously. Doctors, workers in Enugu Teaching Hospital embark on strike, discharge patients, others on life support. People that are on life support have been discharged because the doctors have gone for warning strike, one week warning strike. Let me read what I have for you to know that that Enugu state governor is not doing well. All he has come, all he came to do, he failed because he couldn't uh, stop the seat at home. He couldn't uh, either, um, you know, enhance the release of Namde Kano, so he just came to play game. But unfortunately, in the Mazda Simon Eber has been his end. Let me read what I have, what to word, and you will find out that um, there is fire on the mountain. Let me read. It says... Clinical services were on Friday paralyzed in Enugu University Teaching Hospital, Esuit Parkline, Enugu, as doctors embark on a one-week warning strike to force the relevant authorities to, among others, demand and employ more doctors. Meanwhile, the doctors have discharged all the patients admitted into hospital wards and accidents and emergency. Some of the patients are in critical conditions, some in life support, hereby putting them at death risk. Some have no money to take their patients to private hospitals. And they are now stranded in hospital. A doctor who spoke to Sarah reporters on condition of anonymity when asked the reason for the strike said that doctors in the hospital were overstretched the job here is very stressful because there are a few doctors attending to hundreds of patients we want the state government to employ more doctors to reduce our workload he said sorry reporters had reported that governor peter mba despite spending whooping amount of money in excess of uh, over three billion naira in three months on his office owes months of salary areas to workers in the hospital you can imagine that oh my god that is the end of uh, what they reported so oluwele mba has actually come to defraud our people defraud our people you know he could not just make the hospitals to be running smoothly as they were running before he came spending whooping sum of money like a uh, three billion naira in his office just to furnish that is how you know a wicked governor and that is how you know a full and stooge the likes of hopos of them are. if you see how they are spending public money you know on themselves you will know that they have not come for the masses they they are paying few doctors in that uh, that particular hospital mentioned few doctors with hundreds of patients. So these few doctors, few professionals are overstretched. You want to kill them? Do you really do you want to kill them? How much are you paying them? That you cannot, you know, employ more hands so that work will be normal in that hospital. Well, they have said enough. One week warning strike. What about those in life support? If they die, you are the one that killed them. Olu Wole Mba Peter Mba, we are talking to you. Yes, the people that gave you that name, they are not mistaken because you are a double standard human being. Double standard in the sense that you are not there for your people, but you are pretending you are for your people. Just imagine um, patients being discharged because there are a few doctors that are working. I know prior before now, before now, they must have given you signal. They must have written you to employ more doctors. But because you don't want to pay some money, you don't want to pay more people, you don't want to employ people, you just want to be frustrating beer France in the name of you are a governor. Well, enough is enough. Time is past when you'll be deceiving our people and we'll be clapping for you. 
this time around everybody is ready to give you woto woto and that is what you will receive in return because you just price the market and you must buy it any fulani stooge governor you just notice it the moment they will start they will tell you hey we don't want it at home it is destroying our economy it is destroying our money it is destroying our business which business are you talking about that you cannot employ doctors i said doctors to take care of patients you just want to use few doctors and suffocate them because you want to pay them 150,000 or 200,000 or 250,000 do you know how much doctors collect abroad? Do you know? Illiterate like you, you want to frustrate professionals that we have in Biafra land. My dear, it is better you people give him woto woto. Go on strike. You are not mumu. Go on strike. Let him come and do the work. Hence he had the F1 tree, the mind to spend over 3 billion naira in his office. Who is he? Who is he? Where his forged certificate? Is it what earned him what the money he's spending? Please. That's why we say Nigeria is not working for us. Dear friends, you know. Nigeria is not working for you. Whether you're a doctor, whether you are a lawyer and you're a Biafran, just support Biafra agitation. Simple and short, and you see your life will change. Because when our government starts, when it takes over from this zoological republic government, your life, your salary, everything about you, your workforce, everything will change because we have conscience. No wonder Simon Eba said this man is a stooge. See him now frustrating our professionals, our educated ones, the doctors. He's frustrating them because... Because of what? Well, they have gone on strike. Next is to pack up so that he will be frustrating the patients, more especially the sick ones. They are the ones at the recipient end as I speak right now. Because most of them are in critical conditions and they don't know what to do. And most of them cannot afford private hospitals. That is how wicked. Uluwele Mba is. And that is why how wicked the Muslim Muslim ticket is. That is it. Anybody that is supporting Nigeria is supporting it because they are gaining something. The moment they stop gaining something, they cannot again support Nigeria. So, Nigeria is not working for us. Everybody, Dick, Tom and Harry should know it. That we are agitating for Biafra is because we want a better life. So please support Biafra agitation and in turn have a good life. Thank you very much for your time. Please help us to share. Help us to shout at that very governor. Shout on him very well. And uh, by, that, by the time we finish with him, he will by force employ more doctors and start what he's supposed to do in that very hospital. All right? That's the news we have for you right now as we speak. And we want you to please help us share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.